<coughs> hey, beloved. <coughs> so, just got a confirmation of something that I wasn't sure about until just now, right? Um, I mean, I'm sure, I was sure about it, but I wasn't sure specifically on the what, what I'm about to talk about, right? Beloved, this will serve as a confirmation to some and a heads up for others, okay? But you may have already started to notice this, right? I was watching a video the other day, right? And I discovered something that I never knew, right? Which also opened my mind to a whole bunch of things which are probably possible, and I'm sure that they are, and are unknown to man, right? Which would be, which would make that, you know, a mystery, right? And God is the revealer of mysteries, right? So I saw a video, right? And it had a crow on there. There was a crow sitting outside on the ledge of the window and uh, it was talking to the owners of the home, talking like a parrot or a parakeet, whichever one of those, but it was literally speaking words. It was mimicking the person. I didn't know that crows could do that. Like, crows can change the tone, the frequency of their voice to match a human being's voice, word for word. Didn't know that. I did not know that, okay? And then I just heard just a minute ago, animal, animal human communication, right? Which confirmed that to me. Beloved, you're going to start to experience a different type of communication with animals, with the animal kingdom, okay? Look back at King Solomon. King Solomon spoke to and could understand animals. He could understand nature around him, God's creation around him. It spoke to him on so many different levels, right? As well as um, Noah. The animals on the ark. It's been depicted that, or thought that, some of the animals even helped him build the ark. Don't know that if that's a for sure thing, but that would make sense. That would make sense, right? And the fact that an animal knows what type of a spirit a person has. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is now reminding me of this video that I watched yesterday about this dog and this horse who were best friends, right? And the dog would come and visit the horse every single day and spend uh, at least 20 minutes with the horse every day. And the owner was taking a video that the horse and the dog did not know that the owner was taking, right? So you see the, the dog come up to the, the fence where the horse is and the horse leans his neck down and the dog stick his, sticks his neck through the fence and they start to caress each other. No lie, beloved, I watched this. I watched this video like over like 20 times because it touched me. It was amazing, right? And it just solidified that, you know, it doesn't matter if it's animal, human being, or, or whatever. One spirit, soul, can recognize another's spirit or soul. Okay? That's how somebody, you can meet somebody and, and their spirit is familiar to you because you know their spirit. You know their soul. It, 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 you identify, not, you just don't. You don't just identify with it, you know it. Right? Those souls remember each other. Right? However that works, it is a thing. How do you explain a dog and a horse being best friends? And you can see the, the horse, it's like the dog, when you watch the video, it's like the dog, the dog was walking up to the horse right all telepathic telepathically and and inner energetically it's like the dog 
was explaining something to the horse and the horse understood completely. And then the horse comforted the dog, right? And then right after that, the dog comforted the, uh, it's like the dog said, thank you to the horse, right? The dog put its paw on the horse's nose. You know how a dog will gently, gently touch you? That's what the dog did. It gently touched the, the horse's snout and face, right? And it licked the horse's face, which is a kiss, right? And it did that over and over again. And beloved, I almost started to cry because it was like, souls remember other souls, right? Whether it be from heaven or whatever, souls remember other souls, no matter if it's in an animal form or a human form. That is amazing. Like if that doesn't show you God's majesty, his 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 glory, I don't know what does. You know what I'm saying? And that's thank you, Holy Spirit. That's just another confirmation of the communication that I'm up here speaking about. Beloved, you're gonna start experiencing, if you haven't already, other forms in in more depth forms of communication with your animals with the animals around you, insects. Beloved, I've been being pestered by bees for the last three days, and I didn't know why, right? To the point where they were, I would walk out of my front door and there were bees lined up underneath the, the, the you know, the ripples on the wall or whatever. There were bees lined up, right? And you know, winter is upon us, right? So bees, right? If it's cold outside, they kind of freeze in place, right? It's kind of like they hibernate and protect themselves, right? It's like a pr protection system, right? And then when the sun comes out and it gets warmer outside, they thaw out, right? And then they go about their merry way, right? But I walked outside of my door and there were bees everywhere, beloved, everywhere. And they were just stuck in place, all along the wall, just stuck in place. And I'm like, huh. And then I remembered that about bees when I was younger because I learned about bees. And I remembered that. And that's symbolic of something. I don't know yet, but it's it, it is symbolic of something. And I think this is a part of it. Beloved. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is giving me a depiction of um, animals, insects, birds that are trained, right? Holy Spirit gave me just gave me this depiction of uh, this picture this motion picture of bees, right? Or, thank you, Holy Spirit, fireflies, okay? Just think of fireflies. You see fireflies in the night sky, right? Down south. And all of a sudden, these fireflies start to form a word. <laughs> and you're like, am I seeing this? Yes, you're seeing this. The fireflies start to form a word. Or a, or a sentence or whatever it is, right? But this is how you're about to receive certain downloads. This is how you're about to experience different forms of communication, not with people, but with the environment around you, beloved. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is reminding me when, was it Isaiah or Elijah and Elisha? I don't know which one it was, but one of them was looking off in the distance for clouds and they would not, they couldn't, they couldn't see a cloud. There's no cloud in sight, right? Until he saw a cloud the size of a man's fist, right? He saw a cloud the size of a man's fist and I believe he ran, right? I don't know if this was a part when he was out running the chariot, I'm not sure, right? But I know that this part is in there. Okay, some, maybe some of y'all can help me out with that part. I can't remember it right now, right? But the environment spoke to him. The cloud, the size of a man's fist, that spoke to him. Right now, to another person, they would just see a cloud amongst a vast, clear sky. But to that prophet, he saw God speaking through his creation, through a cloud the size of a man's fist, right? So, beloved, 
Let this be your confirmation or your heads up. You're about to experience a whole new... What's the word I'm looking for? World. <laughs> You're about to experience a whole new... I, Aladdin came up in my... I don't know. You're about to experience a whole new world of communication, of interaction that you have never experienced before. And it's going to be just for you, right? It's like you're not really going to be able to tell anybody about this, right? Because they're going to think that you're nuts, right? But it's for you, beloved, because you know that it's real. You know that it's true that it's happening, right? It doesn't matter if other people believe it or not. This is an experience that you're having with God, with God's creation, with everything that you're connected to and inner uh woven into in this world in this this universe right remember the universe is like a whole bunch of interwoven strings that if you pluck one it's going to have a ripple effect all throughout the universe right that's why i said in the pat on one uh one of my past videos that your presence is that important here 11 11 on my timer your presence is that important in this earth if you were not here for some reason or another right prematurely then this it would be off balance it would be off balance so you are needed in this earth realm it is important that you are here that you are alive that you are well and that you're walking in your purpose right so just be ready to experience that if you haven't started experiencing already right um and don't be freaked out about it because i know when the bees were <laughs> They, I, beloved, when I mean they were bothering me, they were bothering me. Okay, I was, wa I'd be walking to the bus stop or walking somewhere, bees right here, zzz, zzz, flying around my head. They wouldn't go nowhere. They wouldn't leave me alone, and I was just worried about not being stung. Right, until I changed my perspective, and then I was like, oh, oh, and then I started looking at it differently. Right, and those bees started acting as I was thinking. Do you get what I'm saying? those bees started to act as I was thinking, right? And after that, I started to receive little tidbits, little messages here and there, right? From bees, from bees. Or I'd be walking in a certain direction, right? And maybe the Lord doesn't want me to go that way, right? And, and maybe he uses those bees to guide me in a different direction. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it may sound if you're a chosen one this isn't crazy to you because we experience these crazy things on a daily basis right we're more tapped in and especially now that we're coming into who we are that we're remembering who we are and what god sent us here for and that we are in this world but we're not of it right we're not from here we came from outside of this earth god sent us here right through the birth canal that is all of the, the birth canal that's a portal it's a portal from the spiritual into the physical get it that's what it, you came through a portal okay so i love y'all beloved all right 1333 on my timer i hope that helped some of y'all i hope that um cleared some things up right um but i love y'all more importantly god loves y'all and i'll holler at y'all later peace